Hi, welcome back to The Distressed Princess. I'm Rhonda. Today I'm bringing you a second beach boutique video. My first one I ever did is still one of the most watched videos that I have ever put out. So I thought, well, let's do some more. These items all came from the Dollar Tree and are so easy to put together. For the first one, I'm going to work on some wood plank wall sconces. And I'm using these wooden pieces from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree also has real wood planks, so if you prefer, you can use those. This is just what I already had on hand. So I'm using four of the larger ones and two of the smaller ones, and I'm going to cut them all down to the same size. I'm going to use the length of the smaller ones to mark the other larger ones and cut them all to the size of the smaller ones. I'm using my hand saw to make the cuts and keep the smaller pieces because you'll need them for the ledge and you should have three longer pieces for each sconce. The smaller planks are going to attach to the front just like this. Notice that I got my larger planks a little staggered and that makes it look like sort of a beach theme, I think. So I'm going to put the smaller ones out the front like this so that you can put a candle or a beach pretty on them later. Those pieces were a little long, just like they were. So I am measuring them and I will cut them each in half. So these three pieces here are going to make six pieces for both of the sconces. Now that I have all of my pieces cut, that is most of the hard work that is done. Now all we need to do is assemble. And I will say that my cutting must not have been exactly precise on these smaller pieces because I had <laughs> some that was just a hair longer anyway. I'm calling it a happy accident because I think it goes with the staggering of the longer planks. But if you want to make yours all the same, just be sure to cut them a little bit more precise than I did. I removed the stickers from each piece and now I'm going to turn these into something that looks a little more like real wood. So I'm just using a screwdriver to carve some lines into these pieces that'll make them look a little more realistic. But if you are using real wood planks, you could probably skip this step. I think carving those lines in really makes a difference on these pieces. So the next step is to attach your long pieces of planks together, again, staggering them. And I'm using wood glue to glue them together. I stacked them up on their sides like this so that gravity could do its job and keep these glued together while they dry. And I compared them to make sure that I had my staggering the same for each sconce. After those pieces are dry, now I'm going to add the small pieces to the front to make the ledge. And I'm just going to use wood glue to start, but then I'm gonna take a brad nailer and nail them. I used a ruler at the bottom to keep all the pieces in a straight line. And wipe off any excess wood glue that seeps out. Here's how it's looking after all the wood glue has dried. Now, since we are going to aim for putting a candle or something pretty on this ledge, it needs to be sturdier than just wood glue. So I'm going to use a brad nailer to nail them in from the backside. Actually, my husband's gonna help me with this because I have never used this brad nailer before. So he's actually going to do this brad nailing for me. The next step is the paint job, and I have this leftover chalk paint that I need to get used up. I wish I had some really white fusion paint, but I haven't got any pure white yet. So I'm gonna use up what I have and do a couple of coats of this white chalk paint. The next part is really fun, it's the decorating. So I'm going to use these plastic starfish from the Dollar Tree and some jute string. I'm going to wrap the jute string a few times around the top of the piece and then hot glue one of the starfish in the middle. Then I'll take some of the Dollar Tree nautical rope and I'll cut the same length for both of my sconces 
and I will use a heavy duty staple gun to staple those to the back for hangers. I did a little test hanging on the wall to see how it was going to do and I saw that it did need a little something on the back to help counter the thickness of the rope at the top. So I added a Jenga block with some wood glue to the back. The next DIY would make a great centerpiece for a beach themed table and it's using these two larger pieces from the Dollar Tree and one of the extra pieces of wood from the last DIY. And you'll also need a couple of the shorter length wood dowels from the Dollar Tree. The first step is to paint the wood piece and I am going to use this little pot of fusion paint called Chamness and I'm going to top it with cobblestone. I only did one coat with the blue fusion paint and I wasn't being particularly careful to cover all the brown because I wanted it to look like a chippy, beachy kind of wood. Next, I did a little bit of dry brushing of that cobblestone paint over the blue paint. And the side that had the writing on it was showing through, but the lighter color with the cobblestone paint covered that right up. After the paint was dry, I took sandpaper and I distressed around the edges. Then I needed to drill a couple holes, so I picked a drill bit that was about the same size as the wood dowel. Then I drilled two holes, one sort of toward the back of the piece of wood and one sort of toward the front. And then I added my wood dowels. If you think that your wood dowels aren't secure enough, then you can add some wood glue down in the drilled holes. The decorations I'm using I think are actually supposed to be for hanging so I had to remove their hangers which I just pried out with a needle nose plier. Then I played around with the placement to make one look taller and one look shorter. I sort of placed the rounded seashell lower on the wooden dowel and the starfish higher. I used lots and lots of hot glue and made sure that it was set up and that secured my pieces very well to the wooden dowels. The next one is really simple. It is using the ceramic starfish from the Dollar Tree and a couple of their beachy florals. And I am so happy that they came out with these florals. They have some of them with seashells and some of them with seahorses. And I think they're really pretty. So anyway, my plan was to use the starfish as sort of a base. And then I wanted to be able to stick those florals down into the center where they'll stand up but of course it being ceramic I couldn't just drill a hole or something so I'm using this styrofoam that I'm going to glue down to the center to hold the florals. At first I used hot glue and that seemed to hold okay but then when I went to move it later it came off so use E6000 or some stronger holding glue for that styrofoam. Then I glued some moss all over the styrofoam. I was just trying to make it look like something that might be at the bottom of the sea with some moss on it and then these uh, florals growing out of it. I trimmed down the floral stems and stuck them in the moss with the styrofoam and that was it. And here's where it came apart while I was moving it, so never mind the hot glue. 
and I was using this star bond glue which I like a lot it has a two-part system it's got a thick kind of glue and then this spray accelerator so you spray that on the opposite piece and it holds really well This one ranks up there as maybe my favorite one of the bunch today. So I'm using just one little square of this decoration from the Dollar Tree. And I pried off the starfish from the front. You can save that for another decoration. And it's going to probably peel up some of the paper on this square, but that's okay because it's all going to be covered up. Then I painted it with one coat of white chalk paint. Then when it was dry, I arranged these wooden sticks that you get from the Dollar Tree, a whole bag of them for a dollar and a quarter, and you make a pattern, which you'll see the pattern that I'm making, and then I hot glued each one of those sticks down. Then I hot glued one of the sand dollars that you get at Dollar Tree in a bag of three to the center. I wanted this to be a standing tabletop decoration, so I needed something on the back to support it, and it so happened that one of these sticks was cut at an angle, and so it would make the perfect leg for the back. Now, if your sticks don't have one that has an angle like this, you could easily cut one with your handsaw. And I used an extra good amount of hot glue on the back to hold the leg in place. For this one, I'm using a glass vase and a candle holder that I've had in my stash from Dollar Tree for quite a while, and some more of those pretty beachy florals. I wanted those florals to go down inside the vase and be contained inside of there with that round metal candle holder going on top. So I had to trim the florals down so they would be no taller than the vase. Then I started arranging the florals. One of my florals has a seahorse and I did that very intentionally. So I put some hot glue in the bottom of the vase and then I started with the seahorse and I held it in place until it dried well enough. And before the glue was dry, I added some of these glass vase fillers to the bottom. So between the glue and the glass pieces, it holds those florals up where it looks like they're growing out of those glass beads. I did use a wooden dowel to help uh, poke those florals down into the glue and get the glass stones arranged. So I just kept gluing and arranging and adding those glass stones until I liked the way it looked. Then for the metal candle holder part that's going to go on top to hold a candle, I used uh, my fusion paint in the color cashmere and I gave it two coats. I already had this white pillar candle and I'm going to add a little beachiness to it using a little doodad that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's a string of beads, which I'll save them for another project, but it had a little sand dollar, a wooden sand dollar on it. So it had some little holes that was perfect for stringing some jute string. So I was able to tie it around my candle. And I liked both of these pieces together like this, but if you wanted to, you could also display them separately.
and here's another look at our beach boutique decorations. Don't they look like they came right out of a store from the boardwalk? Time for a cute cat video. Come on, bud. Good boy. Yachty is an adventure cat. He has recently been crying to go outside, so we got him a harness and we let him go. And he is loving it. He just runs and jumps and plays and catches the bugs. And I enjoy giving him his walk every evening. The trouble of it is he never wants to come inside and he's always going to get that harness because he wants to go for more walks. Thanks for watching this video everyone. I hope you have a great weekend. If you want to see more crafty fun then click the link that I provided for you right here and I will see you next time. Bye!